Hi folks, it's Rich here. Quick video. What have we got? What have we got? You can see from the title, can't you? We've got tellies. Tellies, not TVs. Tellies. Telecasters. Anyway, for those who don't know me, I am a novice guitarist with a guitar buying habit. Guitar number 118, 117. Eek. I'm not very good at guitar, but hey. I like them. But I've had lots, including a shed load of tellies from Harley Benton, Squire, Fender, Vintage, all sorts. So I thought today, oh, I searched my elbow. A massive tendonitis in my left elbow is driving me nuts. Anyway, I thought we'd have a little listen to the difference between these two. Before we start with the sound difference of it, let's have a little talk about some of the other differences. Now, they're obviously very different in terms of the look. Mr. Squire is heavier. The neck profile is different on it as well. It's it's a slimmer neck. Can we tell? Maybe not. Oh, maybe. It's a slimmer neck on the Squire, but not certainly not too slim. Feels lovely. Then it does on the Harley Benton. The Harley Benton's obviously a satin finish, uh, but it's no denying that this uh, this classic vibe. It's got just the right amount of gloss on the back, which feels lovely, sort of luxurious. And the rosewood board is a beaut. Although this one's got a caramelised neck, so it's far from awful. They both have old school tuners. The Squire ones are better. They're all pretty tight and seem to do the job a bit better. Although that said, I'm just a home player. Don't make that much difference. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm always out of tune. <laughs> uh, old school string tree, just the one there, which is better than this really, with the, with the two. Both got, I don't know, it's a plastic nut on these. I can't remember actually. It's a classic revive range, have a habit of putting bone nuts on, don't they? This is a made in China, it's a really nice one as well. You've got, there's a four-way switch on here and a three-way switch on this one. The switch on the Harley Benton is a bit flimsy, really. It's not on the Squire, it's really good. You've got, oh, my elbow, elbow, elbow. Uh, brass saddles, which I really like. Chrome ones on here. They have both got string through bodies, that is good. The ferrules on the Squire are perfectly flush and beautiful, and on the Harley Benton, they are up and down and all over the place. They are not beautiful, <laughs> but there we go. Um, what else can I tell you on a few of the basics on these? This, £122. These, you can't get these, this particular one anymore, of course. About 379 for the Classic Vibe Custom, the current one. Nowhere near as good as this, in my, in my opinion. Just... It's got a laurel board on a new one. Don't like laurel myself. Lovely dark rosewood on this bad boy. Pickups in these, depends who you talk to and what you believe. Allegedly tone riders, who, who knows if they are or not, but they do sound fantastic. Pickups in this, however, as you'll hear, they're not awful. They just don't handle drive as well and they're not as clear. You know, they just sound cheaper, but on a budget, I mean, you know, second hand nowadays, best part of 300 pounds for a decent one like this. And anyway, so it's it's sort of two and a half, maybe even three times, yeah. Two and a half times the cost on used, say, and three times the cost on, on new. So let's just have a little listen to a, a few sounds. We won't go on forever and ever because I'm boring. So, and I'm boring and I'm crap. But they might give you a bit of an idea. I'll put my amp on, take the delay and the reverb off. Just something clean. It just might give you an idea if you're thinking, shall I spend a lot or a little on my telly? What should I do? So, I'm gonna have the volumes all the way up just to make it easy. Obviously on tellies, you don't get a one, two, three, four, five, so it's a bit hard to know how far up you are. So just for the sake of keeping it even, which will obviously overdrive down for a bit, which is a Vox AV15. Hello, Vox AV15. What a fabulous amplifier you are. Yes, so we've got, where are we? We've got stand up. Take the delay off and the reverb, we don't want those. We want just a nice neutral sound. The gain at 12 o'clock, bass treble, all those, they're all at 12. No reverb, no delay. Neck pickup, neck uh, fret sprout. It's almost in tune. <laughs> yeah, and uh, who keeps telling me it? It's uh, John Smith, my good buddy Dave. Rich, will you get a better tuner? <laughs> yes, I will. That thing is shit. Time, touch more volume. They've also got the, the tone all the way up. Jingly jangly. Mr. Squire. 
coercive. Let it pick up. Rosewood versus maple, maybe that's the thing. Uh, doop. Right, let's go straight to the neck. We'll skip the middle. Still on the clean channel. One thing I love about this amp, it's so dynamic. You press gently. You press hard. a bit of a kick. So to me that bridge sounds bitey and clear which I think is delightful. Hello Mr Harley Benton. Maybe not, just brighter. Right, let's go to a slightly filthy channel, turn the volume down a little bit. On the neck. Overdrive channel, but the gain is still only on 12 o'clock, so it's hardly, you know, it's not exactly really giving it a load of grief. And straight away, the pickup's a bit less keen on taking that. Oops, sorry, back to Nick. On the Harley Benton, it seems it, can't, it kind of breaks up, it can't deal with it. having a cheap stereo and turning up the volume too much when you've got a load of bass on and it just kind of starts to distort. Let's go on to the bridge. Harley Harley Benton, Harley Harley Benton, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, yee ha yee ha. Whoop, blink. On the flimsy, <laughs> flimsy switch. <laughs> Let's 
super quick run through uh let me turn it off so my my takeaway from that is the pickups on the harley benton sound a bit like any cheap guitar or generally cheaper guitar guitars they're brighter um, they're a bit more sort of ice picky sounding you put some drive on it and they're just a bit less clear they're not awful they're not they're not awful but yeah the squire I guess that's why they cost the money they cost and why this particular model is so well revered as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of the videos, there are about 40 other reviews. Shed loads of guitars. <gasps> Shed loads of guitars. <laughs> and just stuff, Richard, stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.